good old days of good old monster movies are back. Tremors. It was yes. funny. It's humongous. Slimy. Oh. 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 Goo. Oh, scary. Yeah, we'll take your word for it. The scariest monster movie since Aliens, says Sneak Previews. <laughs> Bloodthirsty, that creature. Action packed. It's a wild film. And Time Magazine raves, Tremors is bound to become a classic. Yeah! Tremors, rated PG-13, starts tomorrow at theaters everywhere. What are you doing, Sam? You were getting sleepy. What? You were now called Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Kraft Cheese and Macaroni. Because it's the cheesiest. Yeah. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Dinner has more cheese than anyone else. That's why it's the cheesiest. You don't hand over your cheese macaroni. I was this close. Kraft Cheese and Macaroni, the cheesiest. Why a week of Wisconsin is not Hollywood, nor is it Broadway. Even so, the people of Wyawiga are pretty good at making music. And they're downright great at making a delicious new cheese snack called Spreadery. Spreadery comes in seven flavors, and it goes with just about everything. Kraft introduces Spreadery Cheese Snack. The good news from Wyawiga is spreading fast. Grand Pennsylvania prospered and declined around one industry, the Weldon Piano Works. 40,853 people inhabit Grand. This is the story of eight or nine of them. Dada, come on, sweetie, you gotta be late for school. <laughs> That's better. Ma, I was like thinking I maybe wouldn't go to school. Are those kids making fun of you again? No. Did those snots call you a fatso boombalatso? Do, do you think I'm fat? Yeah. I'm not bringing any more fattening stuff into this house. That's it. But I don't eat hardly anything now. Oh, Ada, come on. I think the fat other people lose drifts through the air and lands on me. <laughs> You eat too much junk. So you smoke. Yeah? There. I quit. There. I'm thin. <laughs> Don't get smart with me, little girl. Oh, come on. Good things are coming our way, honey. I can feel it. Oh, get real. <laughs> Go to school. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anetta, try to lighten up, just generally. <laughs> Run! It's the cops! Hi, Wayne. <laughs> Wayne, I don't have time for coffee today. I gotta clean the Smithson's house and the Weldon mansion. I just stopped by to make sure everything was okay. Everything looks okay. Good, Wayne. What's that perfume you're wearing? I'm not wearing any perfume. Then I think I'm crazy in love with you. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. What? I, who's Wayne, kidding? Wayne, come on. I'm too old. You're too young. I don't have time. I'm married. How about just quick sex then? No, no, I'm kidding. I don't... Who, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not offended. Really? Really. So you're saying maybe... I'm you... saying forget about it. You know, if I was your husband, if I was Eddie, I'd have never walked out on you. I'd be here loving you, protecting you. I'd shoot anyone that ever looked at you. I'd do anything, Janice. Really? And how about cleaning up this mess on the floor? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Wayne. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'll just hose it down later. I'd do it. Anything. You want to do something for me, why don't you give me a police escort over to the Smithsons? Okay. Ten four. All right. Tom and Carol Ann Smithson just moved to Grand. <laughs> Guess who's ovulating? <laughs> Tom, I am a ripe tomato. <laughs> Pluck me. Carol Ann, would it be all right if we held off on the plucking until, say, this evening? 
Don't you want to have a baby, Tom? Oh, I do. Oh, of course I do. Yeah, I'd love to father a child. Someday. I'd just like to get my career on track. Get through my first day of work. Of course, yes, Tom. I didn't mean to put any more pressure on you. I mean, God knows you have enough of that already with uh, just moving to a new town and starting a new job. As you mentioned, hon, you brought it up. I don't know much about the uh, piano manufacturing game. Oh, Tom, I know my uncle's going to love you as much as I do. I have had a look at all the balance sheets, though. Of course, no one can love you more than I do. <laughs> Your Uncle Weldon's lucky he's got a piano bench left to perch on. Oh, you're going to save Weldon Piano Works. I know you are. You bet I am. <laughs> well, good. Let's celebrate, huh, honey? <laughs> Let's uh, celebrate your success. You want to celebrate, Tom, huh? A little uh, celebration? I'm trying to keep my focus here, Carol Ann. Yes. You know, I don't want to lose my edge. Oh, God, no, honey. I wouldn't want to be responsible for making you lose your edge. <laughs> oh, I love you in ties, Tom. I've never loved anyone in ties as much as I love you in ties. No, no, don't, don't, Carol. We're happy, aren't we, darling? I mean, you know, all the magazine articles and the books and the TV programs say that seven months is a very crucial point in a marriage, and, uh, well, the passion hasn't dribbled away for you, Tom, has it? No. Oh, honey. <laughs> You know, I could just kiss you. Could I kiss you? Oh, see, I'm not very good yet at guessing your emotions. <laughs> that was lost, right? <laughs> oh, you finished up there? Can I get into claim? Carol Ann's still getting dressed. I don't think she'd mind, though. <laughs> she used to be pretty funny about people seeing her without her clothes on. In P.E. in junior high, she used to shower with her gym suit on. She said it saved washing it at home. <laughs> Some people have a thing about nudity, I guess. What's that perfume you're wearing? Spray wax. Very nice. <laughs> But not too close to the planet Earth. <laughs> oh, let me give you a hand with no, that. No, it's okay, I got it. No, that's all right, no, I can help I got you. it. It's okay, got I got it. it. I got it. All right. <laughs> Carol Ann, you are paying me to clean your place. Why don't you let me do it? Well, I just feel kind of funny asking you to do menial chores, you know. <laughs> what, you never had a cleaning lady before? Well, yes, yes, I did. Uh, Tom and I had one when we lived in Dallas, but she wasn't one of my best friends from high school. <laughs> <laughs> best friend? Yeah. You reported me for smoking in the bathroom. You told everybody I was a whore. <laughs> well, you know, that one time you did... Let's not reminisce. <laughs> Let's deal with our relationship as it exists now, okay? You're the master and I'm the slave. You tell me what to do and I do it. Okay, all right. How about uh, taking a toothbrush and scrubbing the towel grout in the bathroom? <laughs> hey, Carol Ann? Yeah? Which toothbrush is yours? This is my house and the Weldon's. This is my lunch break, Norris. Desmond, I finally know what I want to do with my life. This isn't some idea like when you went off to Berlin to be a mime. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, that was silly. Nobody understood me. <clears throat> your father has a great deal of money, but he won't continue to finance your global search for something to be. See, that's been my problem, Desmond. I've been looking for the answers out there. When I should have been looking at, I should have been looking in here. I don't know who I am. You're a lazy, pampered, rich boy. What do you want for lunch? Legs well, Benedict. 
Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop worrying about success. I'm going to stop feeling pressured. I'm going to stop trying to achieve. I'm going to stop thinking. Well, keep it up. <laughs> Tell me the mail just arrived. Oh, sound the trumpets. <laughs> What's with Norris? He looks blanker than usual. He's decided to stop thinking. Well, at least he's not in a tower with a rifle. No, that would mean climbing stairs. <laughs> well, moving on to something more important. Janice. Lovely Janice, the cleaning lady. I think she should start wearing a uniform. I want a feeling of staff. I know what you want a feeling of, sir. <laughs> you lecher. You lewd old sausage. <laughs> that, that I don't know much in life. I know this. A man doesn't stay young by being around children. No. A man stays young by being near young women. Oh, I think she'll like it. Bon appetit, sire. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Number. You know what an idiot you are. <laughs> oh, Matt, do I sound mad? Uh uh. No, I didn't hear anything. Must have been on your end. Of course I'm mad. I gotta be the only woman in the world whose husband actually said, Hey, honey, I'm going out for a pack of cigarettes, and three years later, you call back to see how I'm doing. How do you think I'm doing? I'm doing great. What? Yeah, that is fine. Yeah, she got the videotapes you've been sending. Mm, well, working in a videotape place must make shopping easier. And next time, send a videotape player. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Me? Um, well, I'm self-employed. I'm a neurosurgeon. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding, Eddie. What do you want? Well, when you say get together and talk about things, you're talking about talking about us, right? Uh, yeah, seven tonight. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Okay, I'll see you. Oh, Eddie? Eddie! He's still driving the Camaro? Grand will be right back. You know, when you got it right, you got it right. Whether you're talking about this... ...or whether you're talking about the one and only diet cola that does it for Ray. Diet Pepsi. You know, nothing tastes as good to me as Diet Pepsi. Hmm. All right, now who is the wise guy? New <laughs> Diet Pepsi with 100% NutriSweet, the taste that beats Diet Coke. 
And what is your field of expertise, Mr. McDonald? Public relations. Oh, <laughs> and you know that the public prefers the taste of Kentucky nuggets to your chicken McNuggets by almost three to one. And that your McChicken sandwich isn't made with the Colonel's blend of 11 herbs and spices? Yes, sir. Yet you still sell chicken? We do. We? Who are your accomplices? Captain Crook and the Hamburglar. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Taste our best. $1.99 for the Colonel's chicken sandwich and fries or Kentucky nuggets and fries. If you're like me, you're too busy to run around town searching for a sale price when you need something now. Well, Sears heard us and did something about it. Sears has great low prices every day, so you save precious money and precious time. Nobody but this man could make an oat cereal that tastes this good. Quaker Oat Squares, oats as delicious as only he could make them. Quaker Oat Squares, from the man who knows breakfast best. I kind of like it. I think he intended you to wear it without any other clothes. You needn't put it on now. Mr. Weldon is at the factory all afternoon. Why does he want me to wear something like this? What's the first obvious sleazy reason that comes to mind? <laughs> and uh, speaking of sleazy, when is this rapprochement with your husband? Eddie isn't sleazy. I never liked him. And I didn't even know him. His very name leaves an oil slick. Eddie Pacetti. <laughs> Yeah, well, you want to hear something really scary, Desmond? I might take him back. Why would you do that to yourself? I'm very vulnerable right now. I... Can I tell you something really personal? Oh, please. Desmond, I haven't had sex in over three years. And? Oh, I see. Yes, I... your age, I guess that's rather a long time. I miss it. I miss sex. I like it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I might... Yes, it's rather like going into a supermarket on an empty stomach. <laughs> You'll buy simply everything. Yeah. The aforementioned Weldon Piano Works. Let's get one thing straight right off the bat, sir. I may be married to your niece. But I'm here to work just like anybody else who's not closely related to you. Uh, marrying my niece doesn't make you my nephew. <laughs> oh, oh, Carol Ann told me you had a wonderful sense of humor. That's really good. Well, normally I like an employee who kisses up to me immediately. <laughs> well, I don't even know the yes man. No, you don't. Uh, actually, I'm a bit of a young Turk, as I think you'll see from my presentation. Good. Mm -hmm. Fact. In 1978, the first inexpensive electronic keyboard was dropped on the United States by Japan. I'm on page two. Fact, since then, Weldon piano sales have declined steadily. Fact, the Japanese can turn out 120 electronic keyboards per minute. Let them! It takes one year to turn out the perfect Weldon Grand. To age the wood, to machine each part, to assemble it all by hand. One year! That's what it takes. That's what we sell. Mr. Weldon, you just put your finger on your company's Achilles heel. Pianos. You have to stop making them. Stop making pianos? Well, sir, now they're lovely. But who wants or can afford these dinosaurs? Now, pianos are made of wood and metal. What else is made of wood and metal? Your head. <laughs> the real answer is on page nine. Golf clubs. <laughs> Get out. Sir, I realize it might seem a bit radical, but the fact is, hundreds of thousands of people play golf. Who do you know who plays a piano? I do! Get out! Change is very emotional. Shall we talk about this later? No! Get out! You're fired! Did you... you can't fire me. It's my first day. I can damn well do what I want. Well, then piano works in my company. And Grand is my town! Sir, I like a challenge. And I can see that you and I are going to have a lot to talk about. Dad's going to be here any minute. How do I look? As good as you wanted to. How do I look? You're a knockout. He's here. Uh, no, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Don't look so anxious. 
God, I hope we all recognize each other. Yeah, it's open. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lily. Hi. How are you? Hi, Jan. Hi, Ed. You look good. You too. <laughs> this is great. What'd you bring? Well, open it up and find out. It's a VCR. really needed one. I know. Someone told me. Thanks for the flowers, Ed. Hey. <clears throat> um, well, um, I guess you two probably want to be alone, huh? I'll go to my room. I got Bruce Springsteen tapes in my car. Okay. Boy, she really filled out since the last time I saw her. <laughs> so, Jeff, so anyway, traffic when what? you were what going were you down. Wait, no, no, no. You first, you drove. Okay. I've been thinking a lot about us. I want you to know I started seeing a psychologist, and I understand why I couldn't make it work, being married. But I feel now that, that I'm capable of, uh, of giving and, and sharing and loving. <laughs> <laughs> what, am I supposed to buy that? That's the way I feel. Well. How I feel is that you can't just walk out and then buy your way back in after three years with a VCR and a bunch of words you never used in your life. <laughs> I can't deny that certain aspects of our marriage were exceptional. <laughs> but I guess I just don't think that you're coming back here is such a hot idea. Me either. What do you mean, you either? Janice, uh, I came back to ask you for a divorce. Like I said, I've been going out with this psychologist, and uh, we want to live together. Oh, my God. Eddie, you're a homo. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Well, you want to live with a psychologist. She's a woman. She's an educated woman, and she wants to live with you. <laughs> I hope we can handle this in a civilized way. Sure, you can hope. Well, maybe I'll just get my lawyer to handle oh, everything. Eddie, Eddie, you got a lawyer and a psychologist. Well, I guess you can afford it with all the child support you saved. Whoa. Yeah, whoa, maybe I think I'll just get a lawyer on my own. You know, it's getting really stuffy in here. Yeah, it's getting real stuffy in here. There, that's better. Now you. But you're gonna keep the VCR, right? You bet. <laughs> and you better think of something good to say to Etta when you tell her goodbye. Oh, and Eddie, this time you will tell her goodbye. Don't you worry, honey. Everything's gonna be okay. I know, Mom. Plus, we got a VCR. <laughs> I love you. I love you.
band will return after these messages. Driving Miss Daisy, nominated for three Golden Globes, including Best Motion Picture, Best Actor Morgan Freeman, and Best Actress Jessica Tandy. Driving Miss Daisy, rated PG. Check newspapers for theaters in your area. Recent studies show that the average teenage guy thinks about the average teenage girl once every eight seconds. So, what's he thinking about the other seven seconds? One. Two. Three. During Sears' National Home Appliance Sale, turn your house into a Kenmore house with our 19 cubic foot frost-free refrigerator with adjustable shelves, just $5.99.87. Only at Sears and Sears Brand Central, while quantities last. Presenting Zappa Pack, cheese whiz for one. Starts with a flip, then a zip, zap, and dip. Wanna make your food fun? Get the cheese whiz for one. Zappa Pack cups from Cheese Whiz for hot cheese yeah. sauce and zap. Can I get you anything else before I retire? Youth. <laughs> Tomorrow is another day, if you're lucky. <laughs> that Pat Sajak, he kills me. Coming up next, it's an all-new L.A. Law. And Saturday... This is Jack K. 227. Join Mary, Rose, Pearl, and me, and oh, I forgot Lester, for the funniest comedy on the block, 227. That's where I live. Followed by Angelian, the Golden Girls, and Empty Nest, Saturday.